So let's say that we have a need to convert CSV data to JSON format. Now, the purpose of this demo isn't to illustrate how you should go about solving this specific task, because honestly, there are probably much faster and easier ways to get this done, like online, we're using a tool. Um, but the purpose of this demo is to show you how you can use ultra edit scripting to automate certain reformatting tasks that might be tedious or repetitive uh, to save you a ton of time and effort. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is create the actual script file. So let's create a new file and we will save it as CSV to json.js, just plain vanilla JavaScript. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is add the uh, header line that will instruct the ultra edit scripting engine to use webview 2's javascript uh, engine which is the fully modernized version that includes all the latest functionality for javascript so and this comment line will make sure that that happens now let's assume as well that at the time that i run my script i'm going to have all of my csv data selected now you may want to write your script with other considerations like if only part of the data selected or if the script should run on the whole file. But to keep things straightforward for the demo, we're gonna assume that all of the CSV data is selected. So then we can come back to our script here and, and we can assign a JavaScript variable to our selection via active document selection. So now this variable CSV data holds everything that's selected at the time of execution. So now we need to operate on that data within JavaScript. We want to convert it from CSV format to JSON. So we could spend some number of minutes, you know, developing, writing a function that does that. But given the proliferation of AI and LLM tools that are available online, why don't we head over there and see maybe what chat gpt can offer us in terms of a function so let's add chat gpt here instruct it to write a javascript function that converts csv data with headers to json format All right, and honestly, we could probably find this function, um, you know, on Stack Overflow or a blog somewhere, but this is just to demonstrate what's possible with ChatGPT. So let's go back to our JavaScript file here and we'll paste in the function. Now we need to call that function on our CSV data variable. Uh, so that will convert it, but we won't be able to see what is actually happening to the data. To do that, we'll want to either write it to the output window or to the file. Uh, let's write it to the output window at first so that we can preview what is actually happening to our data. Um, let's assign a new variable, converted data, to the function call. That way the function is only called once. And then let's write the converted data to the output window. And that was control space for autocomplete, in case you were wondering. Now, oh, one other thing, our output window isn't visible. So rather than having to manually hunt through the menus and where to turn it on, let's call an output window method called show window the parameter of true to make sure that it's enabled at the time the script is run. Okay, so we can go back to our CSV data here. And one thing that we forgot is that we need to add our script to the scripts list. So we'll browse to where we saved it, double click it, and now it's added. Now we can try running it. And interesting, we can see that it has written a bunch of JSON data to the output window. So now that that looks good, it looks like it's valid JSON and data is in the format we expect, we'll go back to our script and we'll tell it to write converted data to the file.
and this is actually going to start writing over the selection. So whatever selected at the time of script execution is going to be overwritten with the converted data. So now let's see if we get what we expect. Yep, sure enough, looks like we have our data in valid JSON format here. Now this isn't easily readable because it's all on one line. It's, it's word wrapped, but this is all a single line of JSON data. So let's see if we go into the command palette, control shift P, and then we'll search for JSON. And right here, reformat JSON, let's try this. That is beautiful. Our JSON is reformatted into human readable format and we've got JSON syntax highlighting. We can see that our CSV header has been used for the keys. And that is how scripting can save you a ton of time in UltraEdit.